Kuaku Botang Nana has had a long and successful career in the tomato industry. But he says more farmers are quitting the business due to post-harvest losses. Whenever it rains, our tomatoes get rotten. Close to 80% of tomato farmers in this community have stopped cultivating their lands due to post-harvest losses. Poor pricing and improper storage cause tomatoes to go bad before they can get to market. Recent reports by the Danish government show that Ghana loses $1.9 billion annually because of these kinds of post-harvest losses. Ghana's Crop Research Institute can't build better roads or improve storage facilities, but they can make tomatoes last longer. They're doing this by training young people from tomato-producing communities to prepare tomato jam, which has a longer shelf life. Their, their parents will not bring the whole fruit to the urban market for the market queens to decide the prices, but they will take some part of it and turn it into jam or other product that we have taught them, and then that one will sell higher than they sending the raw fruit to the market. So this um, training is going to help those in the rural areas. Young people are embracing the idea. It's going to be very, very helpful to us in that we are from villages which do not have any knowledge in post harvest techniques. So a lot of their produce and our produce goes to loss. With these preservation methods and an emphasis on limiting food waste, more Ghanaian farmers hope they can stay in business and help feed the country for generations. For Hamza Aden in Akomadan, Ghana, Salim Solomon, VOA News.